Good afternoon, everybody. So today I'm sitting here thinking about how sorry I feel for the upcoming generations and how these days with everything being done in the matrix through the Leviathan, AKA the airwaves, AKA the internet, AKA the black scribe you're using, AKA witchcraft and sorcery. You know, so right now we have all the children home and you see people, these kids, not learning a damn thing on their computer with these teachers. Then you see the kids playing their video games, not even paying attention to class. How do you expect these children to pay attention to an online course and, and then absorb the information, especially with all the other outside distractions? Now, what's being pushed? Video games, violent video games. So you see what's happening is these children are being conditioned with these violent games. They're being conditioned to kill. They are being conditioned to not care. They are being conditioned for cognitive dissonance. They think it's a game that the more people you kill, the more points you get. Now think about this. Your child is playing video games all day. That's all they do. What happens then? It muscle memory. Things become habit. So then what happens it, later on when memories are triggered? Yes, ambulances. See, because what happens when memories are triggered and they're thinking in that game state and then they become, um, in their mind, uh, they believe that that is a reality. So then when something on the outside happens, guess what? They often become violent and they act out a muscle memory. That's how you get a lot of uh, criminals it's conditioning, folks. It's conditioning. What are you putting in people's heads? How <clears throat> the mind control just, it, 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 it's ridiculous. It, it, it. These video games teach children how to hurt people and how to be cunning and manipulative. It teaches them about weaponry. It teaches them all the wrong things for the wrong reasons. So let's think about this. These next generations coming up are not being educated in the school system. They're being educated by their television. Okay, mind control. We, we're just going all back to that. Then you got the kids on the video games where they are again being um, conditioned to a specific mindset which is not conductive to their soul. Parents, pay attention to your children. When they talk to you, listen. Pay attention to the people in their environment, the games they're playing, the books they're reading, because these are things that are guiding their mind. These are things that later on they're going to remember. You know, and since we learn through repetition and we learn through our mistakes, let's try to catch some of them in advance so that they don't happen. You know, instead of having your kids out there playing all these games, maybe we could try something else. Maybe try switching it up or adding other things into the mix. At least have balance. Balance. That's so key because, you know, if, you, if, if, if your mind is just consumed with negativity and there's no balance in all... It, it, what kind of emotional state are you creating? You know, I could see a few hours of games followed by no games, no TV, getting out of the house, doing life stuff, and just living again. Shit. Now, I do realize that's hard in these times because we, we can't go out like we used to. So there's new limitations being set. And this is a new situation for everybody. And I know people, everybody's doing the best that they can do with the information they have at that time. I get that. I'm just trying to look at how we can 
move forward through this chaos, but have some balance and some equal footing? And what can we do to help the next generations coming up to know that there's life outside the matrix, Neo? We all need to wake up ourselves and then help our children. You know, I've fallen behind greatly. I have made so many mistakes and I am feel bad for them. You know, um, stability is something I myself have lacked because it wasn't really provided to me, so I didn't learn it. So my life became very chaotic going from place to place because I wasn't equipped with the proper tools out here in life not using it as an excuse i'm using it as an example to teach you um, or share with you part of a testimony and what i've learned from it because i've learned from my errors i repent go the other way don't return to the old errors and push through and move forward and that's a cool thing because i you know like with repentance when you have true repentance it's not hard to admit when you're wrong or when you've messed up because you see it and you don't want to do that you don't want to be that person so you could switch it so balance is key you know paying attention to your loved ones and those around you you know 20 30 years from now when these kids that are playing video games and learning on television when they're running stuff How's that going to be if they don't have balance? Life is precious. Life is scary. Life is hard. It has its great moments too, but you know, it's like we just got to push through, you know, and, and, and think of using agape love. An all-consuming, not all-consuming, wrong words, but with agape, it's everything. It, it, it's, it's a love for every, not just yourself. Yes, you need to love yourself, but you need to love everything outside of you as well as yourself, meaning looking out for what's good for the whole, not just one person, but what's good for everybody. I don't know, again, I'm, I'm just sharing some thoughts. Mind control is a terrible thing. There are so many programs out there. And I just would like to help be a chain breaker. You know, I don't want, I don't want to be a creator of chaos. But I would like to be a chain breaker of old strong men and straw men. So sometimes that takes a certain type of different strong woman to help overcome that straw woman, man. You see, see? Okay, I had to add that last part in there. I'll, okay, let me, let me stop, let me stop. Have a good one, everybody. Enjoy your day. I hope to get some feedback. You know, I make these videos and I feel like I'm talking to myself sometimes. But I hope somebody out there hears me, and I hope it helps somebody somewhere, somehow. Stay blessed.